you to kindly share the link, the YouTube link to to your fellow athlete that should be on this call. Share it so more persons can join and learn what I'm learning tonight because I can assure you that in the end of tonight, you should be able to maximize the various futures and the opportunity that comes with the upgraded system version. So if you are not lazy, help us to share the link so that more persons can join. On the call, we have um, all the co-founders of the platform. We have OD, we have um, if you're King Leo and myself, which you fetched us. So tonight, if you're an OD, are the ones who are going to be leading us tonight on the session. Um, we're not, we're not going to be wasting much time. I'll just call upon if you're to um, start the session for us tonight. Let him um, give us basic download of what the how the new platform works and necessary things we need to know. And Odi will also come in any area he needs assistance. If you you can go ahead. Uh, if you can you kindly unmute your mic? Can you kindly unmute your mic? We cannot hear you. All right, what well, I'm waiting for, if you have to figure out the challenge with this uh, mic, Odi, you can go ahead and uh, unmute yourself. And I think yeah, I will appreciate it if you can also share your screen so that they will see these things practically and then um, as much as possible learn and know how to make best use of the platform. Today is not just for Perspire Acquire. Today is for you to learn. Just open your hearts, learn. Learn these things so that you'll not be asking um, basic questions or reaching out to support for necessary things. So, Odi, you can go ahead and unmute yourself. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. I can hear you. All right. Uh, nobody was responding. All right. So, um, um if york is supposed to get started with this uh, let me check what's happening at his own end all right so um, he has a slide he needs to use and present to us so just just give me just give me like um two minutes coming hello can you guys hear me Yes, we can hear you now. Yes. Okay. Yeah, sorry about the delay. So I'll I'll be sharing my screen um with you guys. Just hold on a little. So I'm kind of going to give a rundown, like an overview of the new platform that we've we've won launch. And we all know that um, any product that is released in the marketplace, one of the first things that the product creator does is to is to input a manual to guide the users of this platform to, you know, to navigate, to know how to use this platform. Take for example, you get to the, you go to the market. Let's say for example, you want to buy yourself a laptop. So buying this laptop, um, the manual helps you to know how to use this your new platform, the new gadget that you just purchased. So that's basically what you are going to be doing, and um, in this session. So I'll be. I'll be sharing with you a slide which we have prepared, me and my co-speaker, Odidu. So we are going to be presenting to you some of the new features which we've added to the our new platform, um, which is in a way going to make the new platform better than what we've been experiencing. So number one is that it's going to, um, we actually brought this platform knowing fully well that um, 
the previous platform, we had some challenges, and then we saw the need to work on those challenges so we can present a better you know, user experience to our users. But bringing up the platform this way, we've discovered that some persons still have some challenges, which we decided to set up a session such as this to put you guys through on how to navigate the user interface of the platform and not just trying to maximize these features so you, you profit in your affiliate marketing business. So I don't know if you can see my slide from I mean, at your end here. Okay. So I'll, I'll first go through the, the rundown on the, of the platform. We are going to basically have um, some different sections like in the meeting here where I'll go through the overview, the theoretical part of it. Then later on, my colleague here, my speaker, our speaker is today, Ojudu, he'll be going through the, the practical section. So um, first and foremost, uh, our new platform, we decided to enhance the user experience of the platform and also ensure that the interface compared to the previous ones that we had, we kind of try to make it more responsive such that the um, people that are using different gadgets, you are coming from a mobile device and then you are going to a wider screen such as tablets or the mobile um, the desktop, you'll be able to have a better interface. So we don't have elements that overflow or overlap each other. So we had to look for ways to work on the features of the responsiveness of the platform and also the user experience. And they as well, we considered the speed of the website. At some point, affiliates were complaining about the slow speed. So we had to work on that. And then we also had to improve on the marketplaces. And then the, we had some other features which we added, which is called the wallet deposit. And then we also added some other features such as contest, easy sales, so you can track your sales and also count, be able to count your sales. And as well, we, we have, if you've noticed before, like most times payments usually come in kind of late, but after the upgrade, we did some few changes and then we were able to, you know, improve on the withdrawal and also the payment. And as well, we also added some of the features called the SMS notification. And then we also have what is called the two level security. And then lastly, we are going to be looking at what is called the improved account creation as the OTP verification. So now looking at the enhanced UI, the enhanced user experience and the responsive user interface. So we created a system such that it's gonna be easy to use and also a system which is visually appealing to the eyes, their customers and to our users. So they easily navigate around the interface of this platform. So they easily see what they're actually looking for. But let's take, for example, that we have a situation whereby an affiliate happens to log into the affiliate account and then finds it difficult to navigate to, maybe going through the withdrawal or maybe going through the marketplace or any of the features on the platform. So this new platform is very easy to use. By the time my colleague or my speaker is going to go through the practical session, you are going to see what I'm talking about. So this gives the user kind of good experience of using the platform. And also we designed it in such a way that it's appealing to the eye. And if you have been going through our tweets, our Twitter handle of recent, you see affiliates screenshotting their affiliate dashboard. And if you compare the current um, dashboard to the previous ones, you see we have some key differences, such that we opted in for a more modern design that is easy on the eyes. Okay, and also we make sure that we worked on the colors of this platform. And then when it comes to the typography, the texts are not difficult for people to read. And then when it comes to the use of favicons and images, and if you've noticed also, if you check the marketplaces, the thumbnails that we are currently using, they have been changed. And if you've noticed, it's kind of very appealing to the eye. So guiding people on how to navigate through the platform. So this is a typical example of um, an affiliate account. So um, this is a, a desktop view. This is a, a desktop view, a more larger view. So this is how the platform would look like. 
But once you use a larger screen device, you notice what happens that the there's going to be two sections. One of them is going to contain the menu. Then the right hand side is going to contain your details, showing your balance, your overall earnings, and some other details. But whenever you are using a smaller device, let's say for example your mobile phone, okay, maybe six um, six inches mobile devices, you notice what happens that these things begin to collapse in such a way that it doesn't overlap each other. Now the elements now we've built on the platform doesn't overlap such that if you notice the first arrow that I pointed up there, all the menu that was shifted, if you are using a system, the menus that are displayed at the left-hand side, it all collapsed to a single navigation button where once you click on here, you can see your menu button displayed accurately. So these are some of the UI interfaces, the UI that we've worked on. And also, we, if you've checked the website of recent, after the upgrade, you notice what happened. That we've improved on the speed of the website. Immediately you log into the platform, you notice the speed and also all the features and the functions we've added. The once you click on it, it's about three times. Like the speed is about three times the previous version that we had. So these are some of the key achievements that we've implemented in the new version of the platform. And also we've improved on the marketplace, as I said earlier, that there were lots of challenges um, okay, in the previous version of the platform where users tend to wait for some minutes before their marketplace loads. So we've looked into that and we've worked on that to have a better marketplace loading speed. So, and also we included something we call the, the wallet deposit. Now in the question and answer session, which we, are, we know we are going to, we are going to be coming to that at the end of the session where you get to ask your question. But we've seen some persons already asking questions about the wallet deposit. What is it about? Why do you guys bring in the wallet deposit feature to the new platform? And um, so we are going to be answering that question, but um, we actually got this into this new version to enable affiliates to, to fund their... Hold on, I'm coming. Okay. So we, we brought in these new features to help affiliates fund their wallet. And then we believe this is going to help new, new affiliates who have not met some sales before on the platform. So maybe they will be able to use that as a, as a selling point to market their product such that when you come over here, all you have to do is just to select your payment gateway and then you select your amount, then click on submit. You can fund your wallet and it's going to display as your balance. So if you've not made any sale before, when once you fund your wallet, it's going to convert everything to USD and display it as your balance. So you can use those screenshots as proof to make your sales. And then um, we also added what the contest features where vendors Okay, if there are available contests or running contests of maybe any product on the marketplace, okay, we added these features to help our affiliates track any current um, contest, maybe set by a vendor for a particular product on the platform. For example, now if you check out this um, image, we have about two contests currently running. And then whenever a contest is ended, you... Um, you can view it at the column here. The active will be changed to ended. So any contest that is currently running by a, con um, a vendor, affiliates can choose to click on the details to view the details of this contest. Okay. Yeah, this is a typical example of the details of one of the contests on the platform. And um, we also made it possible to allow affiliates to track their sales. In the previous version, um, uh, affiliates were not able to track their, their sales they've made. So 
these features we've enabled that, and you can see these affiliates have about a total sales of 54. And then not just the display of these sales. Once an affiliate clicks on the view all, there's a view all button attached to this total sales. Okay. And in fact, all the buttons displayed here, you can see view all. So once you click on view all, you can track the time you made those sales, then the URL, the link, which converted those sales. So this is it, as you can see. We have the amounts. Once you click on the view all, this is the, the features that we've added here. We have the other ID. So um, if you have challenges, let's say, for example, that you, make, you made a sell, and then after making a sell, let's say, for example, there was a technical error, and you feel that um, your cell converted, but it's not reflecting on your dashboard, you can easily copy out your other ID from here. And then, and then send it to our support and our support to attend to you and do the needful. And as well, we have the CSV button. At the top corner of this page, there's what is called the CSV, meaning the comma separated values. What the comma separated values does is that it downloads, it captures the current page, all right? For example, now let's say you want to filter the date, okay? where you, you, you feel you made some sales, then you, let's say, for example, you filter the date and then you click on the CSV. So it's going to capture the data that you filtered and then sends it down to your device, be it a mobile device or be it your PC. So it saves in there. Now you don't have to use the recommended app to open this um, um, file. Let's say, for example, it's in CSV and you can either use your text, edit any of your text editor or your Microsoft Excel. So you can open that to track your sales and then you know send it to our support. So our support to know what to do about that. So these are some of the key features we've added, which is totally different from what you are seeing on our other platform. And as well, we've I talked about this initially. We've worked on our withdrawal. Once we place withdrawal on them, our payment doesn't take time in few, few hours or few minutes we are done with the payment so and also we integrated the um, the sms notification which we know we didn't see that in our previous version once you make sales or once you are getting if you are being paid you receive sms in your registered mobile device that's why we asked everyone to update the account details if you have an account we've advised everyone to log into the account to filling their phone numbers to their correct details such that to be able to receive notification once you make some transactions on the platform. Now, there's another feature that we've added. So personally, um, is a way of you adding a secured system to your, to your account, right? We call it a two-factor authentication system. It's a way of you adding a kind of a second level security to your affiliate accounts, okay? Now, this makes your account more secured. That's one of the advantages of it. We have several other platforms on the internet space that uses this two-factor authentication system. And then Facebook does that too. We have some um, um, cryptocurrencies apps. Binance does that and a whole lot of them. So this kind of you, you know, protecting your account from the risks of it being compromised, right? Protecting your personal details or maybe preventing your, let's say, for example, you've logged into a um, your account using someone else's mobile device. Do you understand? So, and let's say you saved the details there and then you happen to, or let's say you didn't just log out from the phone. Someone can possibly log into that your same account on that device and places withdrawal, so which is very bad. So if, but when once you activate this two-factor, you know, authentication, it's going to help protect your account, adding a kind of sec second security. So if the person tries to access your account, you'll be generated an OTP. So we are going to put up that video in our next, um, next time, I'm going to put it up on our YouTube channel where you can check to see how to activate this. But the bad side of this is that once you, you maybe you misplace your phone because you are going to download an app and this app is going to 
you know, to help you set up this thing. So this is kind of a setup. You want to set up your two-factor security in your account. First and foremost, you have to log into your affiliate account. Or if you're a vendor, you log into your vendor's account. Now, once you do that, at the top corner of your account, you toggle down your profile and then you click on the two-factor security. Once you've done that, you have to download an app. There's an app called the Google Authenticator. This app allows you to integrate your Digistem affiliate account or vendor's account to your mobile device. So when once someone is trying to access your affiliate account in any of the gadgets, you can use your Google Authenticator account here to synchronize that. And if you don't give the person the OTP generated there, the person will be able to log into your affiliate account. So you have to download that app, the Google Authenticator. This is optional. We are not advising you guys to do this, but if you feel you need it, all right, especially if you know you have much money in your account and then you are the type that logs in to your account anywhere, right? We integrated this to kind of add a second level security. So once you are done, you launch that app, then you scan the QR code to link your phone to your Digistem account. Then you copy an OTP from the account and submit. So you verify your Digistem account. This is how it works. And this is a picture of it, a typical example of what I'm saying. So this is a barcode. So you download, there's an app called the barcode, this is QR code scanner on the Play Store. You can download that. And then you scan this code. Once you scan it, you'll be generated a code. Now just paste your Google Authenticator OTP and submit, and your account will be more secured. And then we also improved on the user registration such that um, before you complete your user registration, you first of all have to um, verify an OTP. An OTP will be sent to your email address. Okay, because in the initial session, we see people use different, you know, different Gmail, different, like, different formats of email trying to sign up on the platform. And at the end of the day, they don't get either sales or notification or things like that. So it is where once you use a wrong email to create an account and you don't receive an OTP, you all know that you've used a wrong email address or a, to register. So you have to, we added this feature to help us, you know, synchronize our user information, making sure that they are complete. So once you verify your um, OTP, there's another page which is going to come up, you know, allowing you to fill in your bio data, your complete bio data before submission to have your account set up. So these are the basic um, features we added to the upgrade. And then um, we feel this upgrade is going to help um, you guys. So, and then... Um, I know me just saying this, some persons may not actually understand what I'm saying. So that's why I would like to be going to the practical section of what we've seen, especially when it comes to the wallet deposit. We are going to see that. And then, um, okay. Yeah, so basically, I think we'll be transferring the, we'll be transferring now to the next speaker, Odi. He'll be coming up to share his screen with you guys to see. Oh, hello, Odi, are you around? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Um, All right. Um, good evening, everyone. All right, thank you, Shop. Well done. Um, so let me continue from where he stopped. Um, taking you guys to the practical session. First of all, you have to understand that the valid URL for Digitstem is digitstem.com. Digitstem.com. <clears throat> you can search that on Google. You are going to see digitstem.com. When once you open digitstem.com, you can do anything you want to do from there. You see where to sign up, you see where to log in, you see blog section and other information. So I'm going to be sharing my screen to start from the beginning and take you through every step of um, the platform. But um, the course access, the it's, it's a 
different section entirely. We are not going to treat that on this section. So I believe you have access to your course and you know how to navigate around that section. So I'm going to share my screen with you. All right. Can you see my screen? No, I can't see your screen. You can't see your screen. Hold on, I'm waiting. Just hold on. If you're, are you on the okay. call? Okay, showing now. Uh, yeah. Um. All right. Um. It's coming up. Can you see my screen, please? Yes, we can see your screen. Let them just type yes if you can see the screen. Can you type yes? If you're on this call and you can see the screen, can you type, type yes on the comment section? They can see your screen now. Go ahead. All right. So this is the home page of DigiSystem. And um, from here, I'm going to teach you how to navigate around DigiSystem. First of all, this is the URL, digistem.com um over here you are going to see the get started button is also here sign up we also have the login here so you can log in or sign up from the home page we have our blog session where we write we post articles um about affiliate marketing and so on so you can visit here to read some articles we have um, frequently asked questions where you can go here check the questions that are always asked and you find the answers there as well about us you are going to see read about digistem and the team so about digistem you can find everything about digistem here guidelines we have guidelines on how to navigate the platform here in case of anything you are going to see the guidelines here so we also have um, the steps how to become an affiliate and how to become vendor you can contact us from here but um we advise you contact us via our emails, um, Twitter, or the live support on your Digistem affiliate account dashboard. So um, going back to the home page, you can click on the logo here to take you back to the home page. So you can read any article you want to read from here. You can join here. Um, we have a um, YouTube video here to watch and just learn a few things. Then you can see the testimonials of some of our top affiliates. I um, think that should be all um, for the home page. Now let's move into creation of an account. So to create an account on Digistem, you first of all have to, to click, click on sign up. Yeah, so this link will be, if, if you get necessary things we need to know and OD will also call from any other hello um can you guys go hear ahead, me go ahead okay, uh, go ahead if you can hear him type yes on the comment section okay 
Okay. Yes, they can hear you. Um, go ahead. Go ahead. All right. No problem. So to register, you can click on sign up here or get started from the home page. It will bring you right here. So over here, all you just need to do is to fill in a username. You can fill in a username here. Make sure you choose a username. If you try and they say this username has already been taken, you try another username. Please uh, put your email. This is very, very important. You can put any username. We don't care about what you put. But when it comes to the email section, use your correct email address. The issue of I didn't get notification, this, that, and all those things. Um, you are the one causing problem for yourself if you don't use the right email. Select your country here. Someone, I saw a message today. Someone sent a message that uh, he's in Nigeria, but he's seeing UK, United Kingdom here. And the, the code here, the country code here is not plus 234. The simple thing to do is just change here, select this option, change it to the country that you are. You are going to see the, the code will automatically appear. Uh, you can see my screen. It's changing. When you select the country that you are, you are going to see the code will automatically change. Then you type in your phone number. Your phone number starts with 7 or 80. You don't have to start putting the zero again. This already, this plus 234. Um for Nigeria, uh, okay, this plus 234, or it means zero. This means zero already. So when you are putting your phone number, you start with the next digit. Don't put zero in front again. If your phone number is 080, you start with 80. This already represents zero. Then put in your first, your password here. A strong password will be required. So put in your password here. Please keep your password safe and don't share it with anyone, it's very important. You confirm the password here, still repeat the password you used here. Then you agree, click on this, agree. If, for instance, you see a Google recapture, just click on the box, it's going to tick, then you proceed. So click on sign up. When you click on sign up, there will be a pop-up for you to verify your email address. So on that, um pop up and um, a code will be sent to your email so you check for the code it's going to be a six digit code so copy the code and put it on the form and submit then you are going to see um another form will appear for your bio data the form you're going to fill in your first name your last name your zip code the zip code some persons don't know their zip code just go to google and search my zip code or just put your location there you are going to see your zip code so you type in your zip code your address and then your phone number might show if okay it might not show again if you register directly it won't show so just submit the form it will take you to your affiliate dashboard um so for those that want to log in the registration process is very simple if you has already made a video on that so he's going to post the video here um, later. So to log into your account, it's very simple. Just click on login, just visit digistem.com, click on login, and then you are going to see this field. Now to log in, please take note. I saw some messages that um, I forgot my username. I only have access to my email and so on. Please, you can log in with your email on this section. This section you are seeing username, you can equally put in your email address and your correct password is going to log into your account. It must not be only username. Please take note of that. Um, put in your email if you forgot your password. When you log into your, sorry, if you forgot your username, when you log into your um, dashboard, you can see your username there and then copy it out. Then also, um, if you forgot your password, you can retrieve it from here. You can retrieve it from here. Just click on forgot password, put in your email or username here, and then you submit. A code will be sent to your email address that you imputed here. Then you can copy the code and then proceed to change your password. So let's log into our affiliate account and see 
um, how it works. So, um, all right. So we are going to make use of this dashboard for our demo purpose. So you can see this the dashboard uh, with 10.03 USD. Someone was telling me one time that the dashboard is not showing dollars. I just laughed over it. Please, USD stands for United States dollars. So please take note of that. Um, these dollars, please. It doesn't have to be the sign. So, um, this is um, your dashboard. This shows your balance. This is the amount you can withdraw. This is your overall earnings, the total amount you've made so far on the platform. You're going to see rejected commission over here in case there was anything and the commission was being rejected. If your commission is on hold, you are going to see it here. The total number of clicks is supposed to appear here, but we are not using clicks and action. So it might always remain zero and you won't get anything for clicks. We are using sales. So the total number of sales you've made would also appear here. So this is your dashboard. Over here, you have your notification um, icon. You can click on this place. You are going to see the notification you've received. If you clear it, you can see the bell is dangling. If you clear all your notification, the bell is going to stand still. So if you see it dangling like this, it means you have a notification. So just click on it and then view your notification. So um, you can edit your profile from here. Over here, you can edit your profile, this section. So you can go to profile, let's start from here. You can change your first name and last name. Your email cannot be edited. If there is any issue, reach out to the support. So they will help you out. Your phone number cannot be edited. If there is any issue, reach out to them. Your address, your state, your zip code and city can be edited. Your country cannot be edited. So this one you are seeing option for you to edit. You can ed edit them and put, maybe you made a mistake or thereabouts, or you've changed your name. But ensure you are using your correct name because we'll verify when we are paying out. Please take note of that. And then you submit to change. Now, secondly, we are going to the section of membership. Over here at membership, we have our plan. So this will display the current, the plan that we have here. So over here, we have our membership plan, which is $10. Please and please take note of this. If your account has been activated, do not try buying membership plan again. If not, you are going to deactivate your account. Please take note of it. If you initiate this transaction, it's going to deactivate your account. So if you're already activated, please allow your dashboard to just go to dashboard. Maybe you're waiting for activation for our UMM students. You're waiting for activation or maybe you log in. If you log in, click on this dashboard. If it doesn't appear like this, if this comes up, know that your account has not been activated yet. So if it's over 24 hours, you can reach out to the support let them help you activate. Or if it's not up to 24 hours, just hold on for your account to be activated. But when, when once your account has been activated, do not try buying plan again, even though you are going to deactivate your account, please. Then you can look and see your um, account information here. So your status is active. I mean, I have one, one week. This account has one week, 23 hours. So you are going to see the remaining time duration here. When you started, and when it, it will expire and the price to pay. So you are going to see the details of your current plan here. And um, plan history, this is going to bring up your the plan history, um, maybe the available one, the previous one, and the rest. So this next section is the marketplace. This marketplace is very, very rich. As Ifyok said earlier, it's very fast and also very rich. Some persons don't know how to explore the features here on Marketplace. They just visit the Marketplace, copy their URL, and that's all. Please, at this section, we have a lot of things. And first of all, I'm going to explain each of these buttons for you. Let's start with um, the first button here, 
this sign here means copy so this way you click to copy your affiliate dashboard some persons go here to look for a way to edit everything just tap on this button to copy everything and this link you should always test this link before you send them out to your affiliate now uh, okay i'll still i'll still explain that later but always test this link before you send it out ensure the link is working before you send it out to your um prospects not affiliate prospects rather so <clears throat> that's the first thing you should do so this button will copy the entire link for you then this option here you can see this option it means create slog create slog slog is like um <clears throat> url shortener just to create a short link now with this option you can create a slog for instance you want to change you want to sell this ghost ghost writing income generator course so what you do is and you don't this url is too long for you, you can see see this url is is very long and you don't feel okay and you just want to use this um our free slog creator here you can tap and um, click on it just click on this option then over here you are going to type in what you want the name you want to use so you can change it to your name you can change it to any name over here i can change this to to let's say henry and then you click on submit when you click on submit the slog for that has been created so what you do is what you do is you copy if you copy the url you can put it in another browser you can put it let's use the same browser here you can put it in this browser remove the entire link and see this link allow the t to after this slash after the t this slash after the t type in the henry that you created you can copy that link and send to your affiliate that link is going to open the sales page of that product so i don't know if you are seeing my screen very well you'll be able to see that that sales page has been open so that's the slog that's how it works is a link shortener so the feature to create um, to copy the slog itself would be added very soon so we are still checking for some things that uh, we are not fully included, but that feature will be added very soon. So, but that's the easiest way to go about with your slog. You can create it. So after the T slash, any slog you create, replace the entire, this long word, this long digit with the name you chose from here, from this section here, the name you put here, and that will shorten your URL for you, you can use that to promote your course but we always advise that you use this use this url to promote your course use this url to promote your course very important so but if you want to shorten it you can shorten it to use um then the next option here is um terms and condition for the product if the owner of the products has any special terms and condition the person is going to display it here so this other option you can see html code now this section displays you can see the link of the product here this html code this option shows the this especially for bloggers people that are blogging are doing content creation that wants to display this as an ad on their blog on their website you can copy this code and use it on your website it's going to display on the website as ad now another thing is under this section where you see preview under this section where you see preview if the vendor or the this product has promotional materials you are going to see it under this section so when you click on this expand here you are going to see the if the person has promotional material you are going to see it under this section so if you want to check if the course you are promoting has promotional material just click on that let's check the urm 
the UMM has any. Okay. All right, so you can see it here. This URL will take you to the promotional materials of the UMM. So you can always find it here to use for your promotional purposes. And then this is QR code. This next option here is the QR code. On this QR code, when you click on that, the system is going to generate QR code for you. You can share this QR code if you do not want to start sending link. You can just be a fresh guy, a fresh lady, and send QR code to your prospect. They will scan this code. When once they use their phone, you are using any phone at all, just on the camera, some cameras, if you are using an advanced phone, some cameras will automatically capture the QR code and visit the URL. Some you might have to download QR code scanner from on your phone. If you are using iPhone, just on the iPhone camera, um, point it to the QR code. The link will appear on the screen. Tap on it, it will take you to the sales page and you can buy the product. So that's how the QR code works. Then this option, the next option is download. This download contains the promotional materials as well. So you can download the promotional materials from this option here. When you download, it's going to come in a zip file, open the file, you're going to see the content of the um, file, which will definitely be the promotional material of the course. Then this is a share option. So from here, you can share directly to Facebook, Twitter, and the rest of the social media handles here. So, um, okay, so that's that's it for the marketplace. You can see there are a lot of features here that most of you were not using, but they are here. So I believe everyone understand this. So let's let's move into the contest. If you have already mentioned the contest, so over here you can see the contests that are running. The UMM contest is here. You can take a look at it. You can click on details to view the details of the contest. So we re reward the target sale, the reward, um, the instructions. You can read here. So. These are the available challenge. If anyone just be checking here, if you see anyone you can participate. And um, that's very important. Then also for the this ended, the ones that have ended. Over here, we have the the sales. This is where if you said you can track your commission. So if you open the sales, you are going to see all the sales you've made, including the other ID of the sales. So you are going to see them on this section. And he said, he made mention of the CSV. This is where you download the CSV from. If you click on this, it's going, I, I don't know if you can see my screen over here. You are going to see that it has downloaded the CSV. You can open the CSV file and you are going to see all your orders. You can filter them by date. You can filter them by date. You can use other uh, method to click okay, and search search for the IP website campaign name. You can filter them by campaign name over here. So if you filter by date, I selected fourth, and there's only one sale that was made on the fourth, and you can see only that sale appeared. You can download it. So for those that want to track their commission, count their sales and all those, it's very, very easy with this system. This is the deposit section. You can click here, deposit now to deposit money. This money, you can use this money to fund, uh, to activate your membership. You can fund your wallet easy to activate your membership. And um, that is it. Um, then withdraw section. On this withdrawal section, you can request for withdrawal now. When the withdrawal is open, you are going to see the available gateway. Then you put in your amount and you proceed. Put in your correct details. Please, it is very important. Yesterday, we were trying to pay, we saw someone, a bank account number, some people were just mixing up the whole details. Please always put in your correct account detail if you want to get paid. <clears throat> someone put in um, two, two zero zero as account number. I don't know which bank has three digit account number though. So please, it's very important for you to put in your 
correct account details. So you can see your withdrawal history here, and the ones you've placed, how much you placed, and the <clears throat> the action that was taken, whether it was approved, decline, or thereabouts. So this withdrawal setting is usually for automatic withdrawal. Well, automatic withdrawal is not really available at the moment. So this withdrawal option comes with automatic withdrawal. Um, how it works is that uh, when you enable it, you put the amount you want. When it gets to this amount, let's say 100 USD. When it gets to 100 USD, the system will automatically withdraw the money for you. That's how the automatic withdrawal works. So some persons say they don't really like the feature because they want their money to stay and grow on the platform and the rest they don't want. So that's why we are not really using that feature for now. But if need be, we will enable it for everyone to use. But this is how to make use of it. Put the minimum amount you want. When it gets to that amount, the system will place the withdrawal for you with or without your approval. <clears throat> so um, transactions over here, you can see all the transactions that have been carried out on the platform. So on this section, you can see that. So over here, this section will show you your commission, the commission you've earned. Over here is your tutorial section. This tutorial section is, is still loading um the team is creating tutorials to upload here but this is very important when just be checking from time to time as we are going to be updating um information and um, other um, <coughs> tutorials on this section so please just be checking from time to time to know what's happening you put in a lot of um, materials that will help you and a lot of guidelines in this tutorial section. So this is the logout option that you can use to log out from the system. And think that should there is a search option here that you can use to search for what you need on this um, dashboard. Now these other places here you can see overall just this view all in each of these sections you can see view all. So if you click on this view all here it will just take you directly to like this sales view all to take you directly to all your sales. So the system is very, very flexible and easy to navigate. Now there is an important thing I will have to inform you. Um, the aspect of um, the complaints we are having, if you navigate the system, you will notice that we are not supposed to be having any issue you are not supposed to be having any complaint. The complaints that we had earlier, we've worked on them and we fixed them. If any complaint comes our way and we know it's from us, we are going to fix it as soon as we can. Like the email issue we had, it wasn't actually from us. Yeah, it was, it was Google that had the issue that we're deferring the messages that was being sent. The messages were sent from our end and they appeared as delivered, but Google did not allow you to enter your Gmail for their own personal reasons. But when that was resolved, you saw that the emails went through. So it wasn't actually from our end. So and sometimes you try and read the in information or announcements that have been made on the Telegram group on our Twitter handle. Please, it's very important to also, so that you know what's happening and also understand how to navigate the, um, those those issues being presented there. So for instance, we told you guys, provide your phone numbers to be updated. Some persons were saying that phone number is not professional and the rest. Well, I don't really understand what the issue was, but thank God we fixed the whole um, email issues and everything is working currently. So as I was saying, we should not be having issues on the platform if we follow instructions. That's just the truth. Because there are no more, we can see the sign up process is very smooth. The login is very smooth. Everything is fast. As I was navigating, I don't think you guys noticed any. So go to the marketplace, copy your product link, send to your affiliates. Your affiliates will make payment. When the person makes payment, 
the commission is going to reflect on your dashboard. Now, some persons complain they don't receive commission. It's possible. It happens on every system that has to do with commission. There's no platform that has to do with commission that they don't have commission issues. And sometimes you want to check it out. The commission issues are being caused by the affiliate or the prospect. That is the truth. The commission issues are being caused by the affiliate or the prospect and not by the system. So long as commission is reflecting for one person, it's supposed to reflect for everybody. That is the truth. So if, for, for instance, you, you some, some persons, you make sale now, you get commission, you make another sale and you did not get commission, you think it's from the system. No, it's not from the system. It's actually from you. Now, let me explain something to you. Commission on platforms like this are using what we call cookies, third-party cookies. Now, cookies are, are just um, some stored data. The website collects data from you and store them on the browser. And if someone visits the site, the data can easily be retrieved from there. So cookies is just like a stored data on your system. Now I'm going to show you a typical example and um, illustration of that. Now, this is where you can see cookies. If you click on this security option here on Chrome, you are going to see these cookies here. You can see on this platform, Digistem cookies have been registered and eight cookies have been registered on this platform. You can see them on local storage, cookies and this. So these cookies have been registered on this platform. Anything that makes me to clear this cookie, click on remove this cookie here. You can see that this whole thing will reset. Let me show you. If I click on this, you see this whole, if I remove this cookie here, and then I refresh this page. Just take a look. You can see I'm locked out. The data that was being stored on this regarding me using this system has been cleared. So they've locked me out. So I have to return to the original page and then log in again. So this cookie is very, very important as this is what we are using to track commission. So let me show you something else. Now I want to make the sale of UMN. I've copied the link, UMN link, and I come to this place and I paste the UMN link and I click. It takes me to the sales page of the UMN. This is what happens. And over here, you're going to see affiliate ID. Down here, you're going to see affiliate ID is 41433, powered by Digistem. So you're going to see the affiliate ID on this screen. Now, this affiliate ID is being tracked by cookies. Anything that tempers with the cookie of this system is definitely going to give a null commission. You won't receive commission at all. So if I clear the cookies of this place, you can see this is not the URL you used. Look, if you look at the URL, this is not the URL you, you used to enter this place. The URL you used was very long, but you can see how it's converted it and and then give digistem.lm.life. So the cookie is what is being tracked. The cookie is what is tracking your commission to know where this um, info, this um, link is coming from. So now if you clear these cookies from here, if you click on there and you remove, let's remove the cookies from here and you click on done and refresh this page. What happens is that the the affiliate id tracked by digistem has disappeared so this commission is not going to be tracked because this site now is only displaying the original site and does not have any tracking system or any tracking code attached to it meaning you are not going to receive your commission whether you like it or not no matter what you do you are not going to receive your commission so the only thing you can do is you go back and copy that link come back here and paste it until you see, if you don't see any affiliate ID on the page, do not proceed to check out, else no one will receive commission for that sale. Please, it's very important. Now, secondly, some of you are making use of browsers that are blocking cookies. If your browser is blocking cookies, you are not going to get commission. It's very certain, you are not going to get commission. Some persons are selecting cookies, you go to cookies here and you click block. When you block cookies from Digistem, you won't get commission. 
So some of these things are being caused by affiliate and not actually from the system or the prospect that you send your link to. Some of them can allow the click on the link and wait for months and our cookies expire after one month, that's 30 days. So after 30 days, if any prospect goes back to maybe the page that he opened before, the cookie is not being tracked and you will not get your commission. So there are things that happen. And sometimes some of you are making payments for your prospect, which is not allowed on Digistem. But we cannot tell you because we don't know what's happening there. All of you want to make your money and the rest. But anything that comes out from there, you face it. You don't blame it on Digistem. So you calling us or sending all that you have prospect money, it's illegal, first of all, because we do not allow that. That you have prospect money and these want to make payment is not if you have prospect prospects are supposed to make payment by themselves so if you call it prospect money and you try to make payment some of you will be using the same link after you check out from you just go back check out again you are going to lose all your commissions and you come and say you don't have commission it's actually caused by you now an affiliate is not supposed to click on the commission link by himself reason being that the cookies the initial cookies have already captured the details of the original user. So like now, this if I log into my dashboard, my details have been stored on, as, on, on these cookies. So that's my details here. So if I go and copy another link and no, sorry, an, an affiliate link from my own dashboard, the link I'm supposed to send to prospect, I now impute it on this browser and then try to make sale for another affiliate. There is a possibility that I will not get commission. So I try to make payment for another prospect. There is a possibility that I will not get commission. Reason being that I am the one clicking on my own link to pay for another person. That's illegal. So you're not supposed to do that. If by venture you just want to help someone because of issues and the rest, Please ensure you open another browser entirely. Open another browser. You can use Opera Mini. Open another browser, different from Chrome. In fact, even using it on another device that you've signed in, another Google Chrome, maybe you, you are using system and phone, but you are using the same Google Chrome. You logged in your details on Google Chrome on your system, your, your, your Gmail on your system, your Gmail is also logged in on your phone and you're using Google Chrome, you are doing the same thing. So if Paraventure you want to do something like that, use a different browser entirely. So if you use a different browser, the cookies do not you know, transfer to, to another browser because it's browser based. So you can use another browser and then check out for the person, but ensure you're using your affiliate, the affiliate link, the right affiliate link and check out. When you check out, commission will be tracked. And ensure that the browser you're using is not blocking cookies. Please be sure of that there is no blocking cookies. If cookies are being blocked, you are not going to receive your commission. So these are the reasons for these commission issues. And you should not blame that on us. If it happens, because we know even with all these things I'm saying, some persons might not really understand. The ones that understand, yeah, they will take note of it. But if it happens, please be calm. Digistem will not take your commission. Digistem will give you back your commission if it happens. So if it happens, reach out to the support. And when you are reaching out to the support, please, the support is not your, they are not your boyfriend or girlfriend or anything. Some of you now will go and chat with you. Hi, how are you today? And you leave the chat and wait, or you'll be waiting for, for response you just stayed and be waiting for a response please that's not appropriate what you simply do is when you get to the support handle please just drop your comprehensive message or complaint just drop it write the issue please i made a sale i did not receive my commission my email is any information you can provide my email is my prospect email is i made the payment so so date just information that you know can help the person. So that when the support opens that message, the person will not have to respond, I'm fine, how are you doing? And the person will leave. The, the time the person would have used to attend to you, they are using it to exchange pleasantries. So, so I, I don't know. That's what some people are actually doing, which is not proper. Go there, if you want to greet, you greet, 
Then he say what you after that you drop your message, comprehensive one with every detail the person will need. That's how to receive fast response from them. So they need to open your message. Ah, they will see everything that they need there and they will solve your problem. And the next thing you see, ah, it's been resolved. That is it. So instead of that uh, exchanging, please. And so please, you have to learn that. Some people just come and say hi and leave. When the support comes, the person will say hello and leave too. So you guys will start <laughs> just be greeting yourself. <laughs> All right, that's that's okay. So please take note of all these things and then um, follow them accordingly. Um, I think that should be all for now. If there's any other thing I'm going I'm going to add it before the the end of the call. I think um we'll soon be giving room for questions and um, before we end the session. Thank you very much. All right. Can you guys still hear me? Yes, we can hear you. I can hear you. Well done, Odi. Okay. Mm. So I don't know if anyone have questions. If you have questions, if you have questions, drop it at the comment section here, at the chat section. Just drop your questions. We are going to be picking the questions one after the other and and we attend to them. Okay, let me let me just answer a question here. Okay. Um someone is saying, I think you guys should work on the cookies. What if the prospect buying the product doesn't accept cookies on his or her browser? Whose fault is that? Please, that has nothing to do with us. If you your browser or the prospect is not, you know, the person is not accepting um cookies on his, on his or her browser that's your that's your problem and it has something to do with digistem you can't tell us to work on cookies how do we work on cookies cookies was not created by digistem and we can't work on cookies we are just using cookies as a tracking system so it's not owned by digistem you can see this is google chrome i'm using and you are seeing cookies here so if you're using a browser that blow if you ask your um tell your prospect that they should use a browser that accepts cookies so that is it and um, there's nothing we can do about that. That's our tracking system. So if cookies are not being accepted by the person's browser, they better to go and use a browser that accepts cookies. OK, so how do you know when your oh, browser no. is blocked cookies? OK. You are, you are going to you are going to know if your, your browser that they, is good. You are going to see a notification. Let me let me give you an illustration. And here. another thing is that they should always check their the footer of their page, the bottom, if there's an affiliate ID there. ID, yes. Exactly. So before you make mm -hmm. any sales, ensure that you confirm from the prospect that your affiliate ID is showing on that bottom of the page before they carry out any transaction. So if cookies are being blocked, you are going to see this sign. Okay, I don't my screen is not sharing. Sorry. Let me let me Check if you please accept my. Let me share my screen and show them something. Um, hold on. Okay. Have you done that? Mm, hold on, I'm coming. Please, someone is asking what is cookies. Please, you can use your Google search what is cookies. They'll explain to you very well there. So I've already made explanation, please. And um, if there is anything I've explained on this video, please kindly go back and watch the video to understand better if you did not follow. Please, the video has been recorded and it will display on this YouTube channel. So you can always watch the video anytime. Thank you. Uh, 
I think someone has a question here too. Person is saying that she's trying to log into her account, but it kept saying account not found after the upgrade. Account not found. The person should sign up. The person should say if account is not found, the person sign up. Maybe the person used their wrong email to to register oh, yeah. on the preview. If you are trying, if you are trying to, if you are trying to log in with a, a different email, your email must be linked to the your previous account at the former on the former platform. So if it's not linked, your account will not be found. You have to create a different account again. I think that's the answer to that your question. Yeah. So create account with the correct email, the email you use for payment, and then reach out to the support to help you with the activation of account. Provide them with the email, they'll verify your payment or you send the receipts to them, and then you get your account immediately. Someone is asking a question. I saw one question right now. But it's like I made a deposit of ten dollars. Please, what is the next thing to do when it appears in my dashboard? Uh, how do you answer that question now? You can withdraw the ten dollars, man. Throw it back to your wallet. Please, if you made a deposit of ten dollars, it depends on you can buy a plan. You can purchase an affiliate plan with the ten dollars if your account is not activated. You can use to buy affiliate plan. Oh, is maybe in our next. If if you already have the plan, if you already have a plan, you see, but you can withdraw your money again and get back your money. Yeah, you can withdraw your money. There's nothing. Money. Yeah, there are other features that will be coming up, premium features. You can deposit money, use from your wallet and pay for. But for now, um, those are not available. Okay, um, this one is asking why did Digistem remove the so currently we are not we didn't actually remove them, but be patient with us. There are some products we are still verifying again before we list it in the current version. So if there are products that you can't find in this current version, just hold on, give us some time, it will be fixed up again. <laughs> Okay. So this is the question and answer session we are now. So if you are joining us anyway and you can hear us, or maybe you have some complaints or your, the questions you ask as regards the meeting that we the session we had this night so you can drop your questions let's see how to attend to them please don't ask questions outside what we've covered today okay for example the umm calls how to assess that one please you can ask your the affiliate that got into the platform the person will direct you on what to do this doesn't mean that when i send my link to my prospect they have to copy and paste on Chrome before payment. They don't have to copy and paste. They can click it directly. Just send your link. They will click your, on your link and make payment. They don't have to copy and paste. But if they can copy and paste, it's still fine. So, but you'll be the one to copy and send to them. So when they click on it, it will redirect them to the page section for them to check out. Is someone is asking why we have withdrawal charges? Please, the withdrawal charges are for um, the my basic maintenance of the site and um, the SMS notifications and other um, services, minor services. So please kindly note that the withdrawal charge from next week is going to be a fixed amount of seventy-five naira only. That's what you'll be charged. Um, from next week, 75 Naira only.
for the maintenance and the, the, the charges we receive from transfers and all those things. So you'll be charged 75 Naira from next week. Just take note of that as well. Can I send my link to Facebook? Yes, you can send your link anywhere to go. Anywhere you want to send, you can send your link, no problem. Can I assess my calls after finishing it? Yes, that's your account. You can always assess your account anytime. You go through your course content again. And then... That's what I was saying. I mistakenly initiated a plan, but I'm unable to delete. It's preventing my access to my dashboard. What can I do, please? Reach out to the support. They are going to activate. Just explain to you, so they are going to activate your, reactivate your account for you. So, or you can wait for the expir expiration of that initiated plan. But you can reach out to support, they will fix that immediately for you. Please, um, the user ID is not sharing on this new interface. For you, if you want to know your user ID, just copy any of the products open it on a browser, check the footer, you are going to see your user ID there if you need it. So it's not showing on this current version, there's no place to display that. So copy the product link. So you don't even need your user ID. All you just need is ensure that your prospect clicked on your, or you can check that by yourself. Copy your product link, open it in a browser, check for your user ID, you can take note of it. So that's how it, you can get your user ID. Please, how much is Digistem course? There are a lot of courses on Digistem, lots of them. So I don't know the one you're talking about. If it's UMM, you can check, check them out. UMM is 20,000 Naira. So this one we have, um, there's a recorded session. If I, once you are done with the session, you can visit our YouTube channel to the link will be saved in our channel. So you can visit anytime to watch today's session. My student account is yet to be activated. Your student account is yet to then your students. I don't I don't really understand that question. If you mean your student section, your that your e-learning session, or a student of yours, his affiliate account has not been activated. Any of them, if you have, let the person reach out to the support. They will activate the account for them, provide the email address you use for payment. So that's just all you need to do. And they'll activate the account for you. Please, when you are using the support, please and please, we beg in the name of God, stop sending, stop sending um, your complaints to wrong channels, to wrong handles. We have announced the handles we are using for our support please we are using email our email is support at digistem.com that is the only email you should send your complaint to if you send your complaint to any other email i don't know anywhere you get them from no one is going to respond to you send it to digistem at gmail.com no one is going to respond to you if you send it to admin at digistem.com no one is going to respond to you please only support at digistem.com that is the only valid email on digistem please take note of that then for twitter you know our twitter handle digistem it's verified please if you send anything complaint to another handle and you they scam you please it has nothing to do with us please use only the official handle of digistem to make your complaint then on your affiliate dashboard there is a chat session there. There is a chat session. You can see a chat session on your affiliate dashboard. Um, okay, I don't think the supports are active now. It will appear on this section here. This is the left, um, right, right bottom corner of your dashboard. You are going to see the support session there. So on that section, um, session, you can chat with the support. They will be online to attend to you. And lastly, I've said it, I've mentioned the three handles you are using for complaints. And lastly, 
please the supports are not working 247 we have the dedicated time for them to work so by nine some of them might stay till 10 but anything you have to do should be within eight o'clock and nine o'clock 8 a.m till 9 p.m 8 a.m till 9 p.m aside um, that um, time please do not expect any fast response you are dropping message by 1 a.m by 2 a.m you are complaining that they have not responded to you please they are humans and they sleep so please just try and send your message if it's late in the night wait till the following morning or you drop your message and go and when they start to resume work the following day they will attend to you we are trying our best to make sure that our support respond fast but um it can't be two four seven at night hours they might not respond to they won't respond to you at all so after nine o'clock do not expect fast response wait till the following day for your response if you don't get response if they respond to you fine but if they don't wait till the following day please that's very important So, um, if you are, are you on? Yeah. Any other question? Um, I don't think I've been going through the the question section, but I don't think there are other. Someone asked a question: Will the seventy-five naira charge be for any amount? I think that should be charged for any amount you withdraw. Yes, yes. That 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 that's from next week. Seventy-five naira will be charged for any amount you withdraw. Yes. And those are the few questions to. Mm. So someone say I mistakenly blocked my cookie. The same way you blocked it, you follow that same process. You see option to unblock it. Uh, you can unblock it from your browser. Just click on that cookie section. You see unblock. So you unblock your, your cookies from there. Please, um, do you hold cl this class every Sunday? If yes, please, we hold a mentorship session every Sunday, but not this particular class. This particular class is not held every Sunday. We have our mentorship session that is being held by our co-founders, um, Uche and King Liu. So there are, if you want to join the mentorship, you can join every Sunday. That, that's for only the UMM um, affiliates. Please, can we register our prospect by ourselves? Please, can we register? Please, as I said earlier, it's illegal to register a prospect by yourself. But if you want to you know, go ahead to register, it, it has nothing to do with us. If anything happens, please don't take it to us. Or if you are registering prospects by yourself, ensure you are not using the same browser you are logged into to register anybody. Please ensure you use another browser. If you are using Chrome for your own um, account, please use Opera Mini to check out for the prospect. Don't use Chrome again to check out for the prospect. If not, you may not, sometimes you may receive your commission, being that the newly copied link has removed the already stored cookies, it has replaced the already stored cookies. So that's when you receive your commission. But in the scenario where it fails to replace it, you will not receive your commission. So, um, John said, how does one make use of slug after his creation? That's the link shortener. So I think he has covered that thing. Once you change your slug yeah. URL, you just copy. It is going to generate a new slug for that particular product. So all you have to do is copy that same link. The normal, the usual way you copy your product link, you copy it. But the difference now is that the, after the root domain, digistem.com, the other side of it is going to have the slug, your custom slug. So you copy it out and then send it to your affiliate. So you use that. It's still going to redirect 
um, them to that particular product you are selling. So just the and same they way have you have to, to okay. they have to verify that it's working or before they send that it before out. Before you send it out, please verify if it's working. So it's withdrawal done in USD. Like just one minute. Hold on. Okay, we also added that if there are some certain things, we are going to be taking some sections of the features and then putting it up on our YouTube channel. So we urge every one of you to stay tuned to our channel, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and also send our YouTube channel link, send it to your prospects. So when they get challenges, you can just direct them straight to our channel where they get to see some of the how-to guides on how to solve some of those challenges. So you don't get... You don't have to be answering all the questions they are asking you or sending all those questions to our support. So that's why we'll be creating these short guides and putting it on our, on our channel too. And also turn on your notification. Inform them as well to turn on their notifications so that when, whenever we are going live on YouTube, um, you get notification in your, your phone. Then... Um... Okay, that's it. Please follow us on YouTube, um, on Twitter. Follow us on Twitter, please, because we post information there. And if you make sale, please share it. The our coaches will also maybe next Sunday they will they will inform you about the importance of that. Follow us on Twitter, very very important. And um, please, some of I the am... questions they are asking here. Mm -hmm. yeah, majority of the questions you are asking, we are not going to answer them because it's not related to this session. Uh, we have our coaching sessions. It's not, we didn't hold that today. Today is different and a special package we have for you guys. So majority of these, um, these questions like, how can I make sales? I register the prospect and the rest. So we are going to direct them during the coaching session. We have our uh, uh, guys here, co-founders that are going to be attending to questions like that. Please, people from other countries, please take note of this. Someone said, please, I'm a Cameroonian. How? um a withdrawals made for non-nigerians there is an option on the withdrawal section you are going to see it there for non for other african countries please select there put in your country put in the amount and you are going to please we are going to pay you so long as you are in africa we'll find a way and pay you um please we do not pay to us accounts for those that are using peonia and other please you have to provide if you're Nigerian, find a Nigerian bank account or any other African country. You can go through our terms or the uh, and conditions. You are going to see that this is in pace to we have not started paying to US accounts yet. Though people from other countries, US and the rest, you can sell to them. Nobody say you can you can sell to them, but if they make um sales, we might not be able to pay them unless they have to provide an African bank account number for us. So that's that's it for now. When we extend to be paying people from other countries, we are going to make the announcement public. Okay, this is the Abayomi or Lucegun. We've already talked about this. So if, if you've not seen a slog to copy, you will hold on. We are going to make a video on that. And you understand? But I think I've been seeing your messages. Like we, we have, please, please leave the slog. You just leave the slog aspect. Copy your normal yeah. link copy and send to your mm -hmm. send to your prospect. Let them make payments. If you want to use link shortener, you can use your link shortener online and shorten it to avoid confusion and issues. Please. Well, okay, this one, okay, UMM cost stopping at 70%. All right, it's going to fix, it's going to be fixed this night. So that's not a, it's not a big issue, but thanks for observing that. Mm 
my product link are not opening with Chrome and Opera Mini. How? Please visit your dashboard and copy your product link. It has to open. Uh, if you say it's not opening with Opera Mini, and I don't understand because it's supposed to open. I don't be sure you're using your new product link. Please don't use your old product link again. They are not working. If you use them, it won't work. If you force it to make sale from there, you will not get commission. So please take note of that. Do not use your old product link. Visit your new dashboard, copy your product link, and use it for your marketing purpose. I have a prospect that lives in USA. What should they do? Let them use their card. Use their card and buy buy from. They'll, they'll use their card to make payments for the UMM. As I said, anybody can buy, no matter the country you are, you can make payments for the UMM. But if you make sales, you become an affiliate and make sales. UMM is not just for you to come and become affiliate on the platform. There are some persons that want to learn, they are getting the course for learning purpose. You can sell the course to anybody that wants to use for learning. But anyone outside Nigeria and other African countries, um that joins the platform to become an affiliate and makes it if you are not within those um, countries we accept you will not be able to get payment from us that's what i'm trying to explain but they can buy the course and learn or if they become affiliate and make sales we will not be able to pay them that's the issue so they will have to use a nigerian bank account we pay to that nigerian bank account they will look for a way and convert it to their US account or transfer to the US account. This the previous upgrade was not ready. So I hope it won't be soon. I saw next that thing. I saw that thing. I, I don't want to answer that question. He has been that, asking the question. That question, though, I don't know. Does it make sense to you? Please, the previous upgrade. Which upgrade was not fair? I, I hope it's not the best. The best thing is to allow him list out what what wasn't fair. Like list it out so we get to understand. Is it that the the, the recent upgrade or the previous? Which of the upgrades? So we don't understand that question. It's not making any sense. Please, it's a complex question. Okay, we mean Digistem is only for Africans for the main time. Digistem is for Africans to be affiliates, but the product UMM is not only for Africans. For you to be affiliates, you have to be, although you can be in any other country, but we pay only to African bank account. That's what we are trying to explain here. Digistem is for everyone. You can sell the cost to anyone, but we only pay to Nigeria and other African countries bank account. That's the gist thing. No volume on UMM. I don't think that's from us, please. That should be from your side, not us. Because that's the same video everyone is watching and they, they are getting volume on their own. Please check your device very well. Any other question? Because we'll soon be ending the call. Okay, the person is asking this last question. Does does the new changes affect our affiliate links, or has our affiliate links been changed, or does it remain the same after the changes? We actually send that as an email across to everybody. Like everyone should receive that email, and it has been announced on all our social media. And social handles that uh, the you must log in to copy the new link. The link has changed. Everything has changed. So please to sell, you have to log in. I've even said that here. You have to log in and copy the new link from your new dashboard. Please, very important. The old ones are invalid. They are not working again. Even the login URL 
to the old they are invalid just log into digistem.com you're going to see the valid links there please why was the cctv course removed please we've already said like some of you are just joining now uh, but are, i think some of them need to go and watch this video for people that are joining new any question you guys yeah. have answered i don't think you should answer them again Will there be any reason why payments to banks may be de may be delayed? Because I don't understand that question. What do you mean by? Mm, I think one of the things is that if you if you provide a wrong a wrong bank information while placing withdrawal, that's one of the reasons you may not get your payment. Once you provide accurate information, you get your payment. Or network also can be an issue. So those are the two things. Once you don't receive your payment, we have our support system. You file in your request and then you provide your account details. We verify at our end if the payment was successful or not. If not, we will get your money. Or you provide your different account details and we send the money there. So I don't think I don't think there are questions coming in again. Okay. So, so we've said it before. If if there are things that I mistakenly initiated a plan, we've answered this question. We've answered the last person that asked. I mistakenly initiated a plan. We've answered this before. So, you can get back to our channel and locate the video. Maximizing Digistem latest version. That's the title. When once you visit our channel, get to our um, this thing, YouTube um, video catalog. Click on the maximizing Digistem latest version for profit, and then it's about almost one hour forty or to fifth, one hour fifty minute session. So you can sit down. If you are just joining, you can share it to your prospects, share it to persons that could not meet up, or people that missed the session tonight. Share it to them, so they get to watch what we've discussed in this lesson. We believe that. These um, solutions we've provided, because I know this has been some of the questions you've had in your mind, or you've actually wanted to hear us speak, all right? And we've presented everything possible or needed for you, needed for you to maximize the use of this latest version. So when you get to that, sit down calmly, and then you watch from beginning to end, so you know what to do and you don't get lost on the system. And also ensure that you educate your prospects very well get your prospects once you begin to educate them lesser complaints will begin to come into the system and we also do as much as possible to ensure that we satisfy all our customers all our affiliates on the system so i don't know if any other person will have something to say either from king leo before we call it a night or from uche and um okay Odi, you have any other thing to say we call it a night. No, 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 nothing. Thank you All very right. much. Um, All right. Can um, okay. can you guys hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Yeah, well done, if you and Odi. Well done. That, that was really awesome. You guys are you guys are the best. Well done. Um, please, everyone on this um call, I advise you to just go on Twitter and you can just um tag digits them can just appreciate us on Twitter, tag it and tag, tag this system and we're going to retweet your, your tweets. You understand? So if this if this session was very helpful, just go on, on um this system and drop drop valuable tweets there. We're going to tag us, ensure you tag us, and we are going to retweet it for you. Thank you so much and have a good interest. Okay. I think that's all for tonight. Okay, good night, everyone.
Good night.